everybody, Livingston here. Today we're jumping into the 1984 classic Children of the Corn starring Linda Hamilton and Peter Horton in the lead roles. Linda Hamilton had one hell of a year in 1984 because she also starred in The Terminator. Heck of a movie if you hadn't seen it. If you haven't seen it, what the heck are you doing here? Go and watch it. I have never seen this movie ever in my life. It's going to be interesting diving into it. I only know that Stephen King wrote the book and it has some evil children that you probably don't want to mess with that hang out in the corn stalks. That's about all I know about this sucker. Let me know. What are the big differences in the books and in the movie? I'd love to know your take on it. So let's get rolling. In the original theatrical trailer, Stephen King's name is misspelled as Stephen with a V. But he didn't like that. New World Pictures. They also did uh, Hellraiser. Stephen King's Children of the Corn. It's starting pretty, pretty spooky. There's the corn. Many more corn. Corn drought and the Lord. Huh? <laughs> What's that mean? Gatlin, Nebraska, three years ago. See you later. Good service. Good service. See you later. It was about three years ago. I was the only kid in church that day. My kid's narrating. After church, we went to Hanson's. Just like always. Morning, Pop. How are you? Your wife and Sarah. Dad was worried, so he went to call Mom first thing. That's when I saw Malachi and the others. That's Courtney Gaines. I've seen him in quite a few things over the years. I also remember him in uh, Can't Buy Me Love. He played the best friend of uh, uh, Patrick Dempsey. Oh, that kid looks hella evil. Uh -huh. Something's going down. Good what a great day. That little boy's really killing, killing my, happy, my happy vibes. They poison the coffee? Uh oh. Crowbars and knives. That's not good. Damn. Jeez. This is starting horribly. Oh no. Oh. Didn't see it, but you knew what happened. Don't kill my dad after three whacks. That was a heck of a first scene. Oh man, this is happening all over the town. That's when Sarah started drawing these pictures. Starring Peter Horton. Linda Hamilton's name comes second in this one. This is They probably put her name first in the uh, titles when you're reading about the movie because, uh, you know, she was in Terminator. Bigger name. Of course, put hers first. Definitely some old school credits. It's a short story. For some reason, I thought it was a book. My bad. Present day. They're really not uh, specific on what day. Whose feet are these? Are these Linda Hamilton's feet? Peter Horton in bed. Get a knife out. What is it? <laughs> oh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I want to wake up like that all the time. What'd you wish? So? What'd you wish for? I always ask that question. So they've half the ever I guess I'll give you this anyway. Oh, that's nice. A lighter. <laughs> My D Arling. <laughs> In honor of this special occasion, we have a birthday mm. serenade. I'd like to be serenaded for my birthday. I can do the things that I want to do. Cause all my Mmm. Wouldn't say she's the best singer. She's not bad, but she's not good either. Man, they're doing the whole song. <laughs> I've never heard that song. We got a lot of driving to do today. Oh, can we just stay to hell with it? Yes. Stay here for a couple of hours. Mm. Yes. It's starting Monday, I've got 50 patients a day to look at. I want to grab a quick shower before we go, okay? Can I join you? No, I'm not going to ask the question. You should live a little. Cock a doodle doo. He said he couldn't take it anymore. He was pretty scared. I wasn't. I'm scared. <laughs> but we don't like it here. I said you'll be all right. You don't know that for sure. I'm curious, who is the kid talking to? Telling a story to? You're not going through the corn, are you? Can't go no other way. I know, man. Lesson you tell anybody, I'm gone. We won't. Cross your heart. Hope to, Hope to die. die. Stick a needle in, in your eye. eye. We don't say that too much these days. Okay! Nobody's looking! Nobody's looking! How many people heard that? Run. That's cool. 
cool. I like that shot. Interesting transition. Jeez. No room for people who watch public television. No room for commitment. <laughs> Come on. Cheer up. Gatlin, seven miles. You guys don't know what you're getting into. I wonder, is he going to run out in the middle of the road and the car has to, like, suddenly hit the brakes? Like, hey, where'd you come from, kid? I came from Gatlin. Things ain't good there. <laughs> That's if he makes it. You get that music, and it's as if the corn is watching him. I don't think he's gonna mic it. Jeez. He didn't make it. Where's this Gatlin we've been seeing signs for? It's not on here. Must be a very small town. Right, look out! Well, whoa! Well, I was kind of right. <laughs> let me check. Let me check. We're right there. Yeah. No, she winced for no reason. That was an animal, right? Come on, buddy. Oh, oh. But he's dead. Oh. Easy. Oh. Easy. Come on. Easy. Oh, she gonna throw up? There's something very wrong here. Keep all the doors locked until I get back. Why? Where are you going? I'll tell you when I get back. Just do what I say. Really playing the damsel here. Yeah, I think Linda Hamilton, I think, you know, Terminator, Sarah Connor, the more, the tougher, more heroic female protagonist. Ah, uh, maybe that'll happen then later on in this movie. I'm not sure yet. It's a little too soon to say. Somebody watch us from the court. Bert? Where'd Bert go? Bert? Ernie? How come no one's come by yet? Is it really that far off road or something that not too many cars go through? Or I don't know. Bert! I'm so sorry. Oh! It was all a dream. <laughs> Easy. Calm I need, down. I kneel down. Nope. I'm still dead in the road. Yeah, that's not going to look suspicious at all if they ever get caught with the body. What he saw. Me and Sarah were playing in our old house. We played there lots. We played there lots. Because I'm gonna have it. I'll get it first. We'll not. We'll. How are you gonna get it? They kind of just got over their parents being dead real quick. I mean, he saw his dad killed in front of him. Seven. All right. See. Cheater. Hundred dollars. Uh uh, Joby. How much? <laughs> to get out of jail free card. What card? <laughs> no rules. <laughs> uh oh. Do you think it might have been some kind of accident? Like farm equipment or something? No, it wasn't like that. So when they get to this town, there's gonna be like no adults whatsoever. He was already dead when he stumbled out into the road. I felt like we were being watched. It's possible. Blood starts to coagulate in four minutes. I went to get the suitcase, it was still fresh. I mean, what if it holds some sort of clue? True story. Let's just get to a phone or a house or someplace. All the police? The day he who walks behind the rules made himself known. That bothered Malachi. He had a lot of problems. Hmm. So we finally get to hear from the great Isaac. A drawing. Already. You have the gift of sight. He's got like his old young thing about him. Crazy that he got back to town quicker than the car. <laughs> I mean, did he have a vehicle that I'm unaware of? Take them back where they were. But they had a game in music. Question me not, Malachi. I act according to his will. Malachi, what a creepy name. Ugh, you'd think we were on the damn moon. We haven't even seen a truck. We'll be in Gatlin soon. Yeah, but no one there to greet you. Let's see if I can get some news. Only by the blood of the lamb are we Man, out of that crap. Not much on the radio station. <laughs> what is it? Corn? Oh, corn cross. Jesus Christ. Not in my book. Boy, sorry. Yeah, we'll have that transmission fixed in no time. I've seen this guy before, R.G. Armstrong, but I can't really place what I've seen him in. <laughs> Think this is about the third car in a month, huh? How come the children hadn't killed this guy? 
right back. I guess this guy, R.G. Armstrong, filmed his scenes in one day. Gatlin? <laughs> there ain't nothing in Gatlin. <laughs> yeah, guy's telling you the truth. Sarge, I said at ease. Yeah, what's Sarge know that we don't? Sarge. There goes Sarge. Sarge. Barking at the corn. That can't be good. Great. The clouds are moving pretty quick. What you doing in there? Why do they want to bother this guy? He ain't bothering nobody. Compass, pocket knife. I don't, I don't get it. So do they go to Gatlin at all? Oh, great. This must be our day. Didn't the last sign we saw say Gatlin was three miles and point that way? <laughs> That's what I thought. Someone must just change the sign. Well, somebody's been messing with these signs and... I mean, for it's got to be straight ahead. <sighs> Must have been the wind. Yep, that's what it was. <laughs> uh oh, clouds are moving fast again. Christ, Gatlin, what do they have? A monopoly on road signs? What about Hemingford? Yeah, it was the other way, I think. Of course, it's the wind. Yep, don't turn your back on the corn, man. <laughs> Uh oh, what happened? Oh, the dog, man! <laughs> Bastards. Did you have to go after him, Sarge? Hemingford is 19 miles. Gatlin's only three. I don't care how much religion they've got. We're going there right now. Don't ever show up in my emergency room, buddy. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> well, they didn't show anything other than just an arm. Time of tribulation has come. It's probably the best kind of cult you can get. A bunch of kids following a religious zealot, but he does have some sort of power. Who knows where he gets it from? I wish I just never came here. But he's always been here, just like he walks behind the road. Hmm. For he has great power, even greater than that. So how old is Isaac? Is he really a boy? They killed the cop. It's pretty dark. You are now entering Gatlin. Well, you made it to Gatlin. What now? All the adults are dead. Looks like a swinging place. Hmm. So no cops or anybody asked any questions? I guess nobody told them we were coming. No cars go through here? I mean, or if they do go through here, do they just disappear the cars and kill them? I don't know. Hanson's Cafe. Let's see if they've got a phone. Probably find a bunch of skeletons. I wonder if they left all the, the dead bodies in there. I guess they did clean up the bodies. A meat cleaver. Oh. Yuck. Rat. Rat. Yeah. Now can we get out of here? Sure. Hey. Hey, hey, wait, wait a minute. Come back here. We just cut off that way. Okay. Where'd they go? Damn it, where'd they go? <laughs> Some of the dialogue is a little... We're already in the car. It's predictable. There's something very strange about this town. Just a little. We'd be better off in a bigger town anyway. Over there. I saw a door. I just saw a door open. I didn't see anything. Because you weren't paying attention. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Now can we go? Mm, no. I must go inside and look further. Eric, this is somebody's house. No, I know. I just want to use the phone. I'm gonna check out back. Matches the decor perfectly. This is three years old. So what happened three years ago? What did they do with the bodies? Can we go? Children? Anybody here? Boy, they're really dragging on this scene. We already kind of know that it's going to be the kids. Not the children of the corn, but the, you know, the little kids that lost their mom and dad. He who walks behind the rose. With a backward S. Oh. Now, that was a decent jump scare. A, a child? Don't, don't be afraid. Um, we didn't mean to scare you. What's your name? Hi, Sarah. Do you live here? You just come here to play? Yeah. Are your mommy and daddy around? No, 
They're, they're in the cornfield. Uh, are they working there, though? Or having they're eating? dead. Isaac put them there. Who's Isaac? Bad guy. Come on, sweetheart. Tell us who Isaac is. Our leader. Listen, could you take us to Isaac? No. He's scary. It's very important that we speak to some grown-ups as soon as possible. They're all dead. Well, maybe she can help. Well, fine. Then you stay here with her. Mm. So I'm going to leave you the car. I won't be gone very long. If anybody comes, just come honk. <sighs> Are we safe? No. Yeah, it's a little weird here, but it's safe. It's safe. You just you have a kid in your your trunk who's dead because he was murdered. <laughs> you know, like... Though real corn was used for most of the filming, polyurethane corn had to be used for the most difficult action sequences. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you draw me a picture and we won't tell Isaac or Malachi or anything? How's that sound? Okay. Sounds wonderful. Uh, what's this guy doing here still? Uh oh. This sort of sucks. I thought this place was safe. Who who walks behind the rose? Uh oh. Nice ladder. Oh, cutting right through that screen. Hmm. I guess the brother's following. I wonder if this is who he's telling his story to. You know, like he meets him and then suddenly he's the one suddenly narrating. Oh, almost caught. What'd you draw? You. Did? Could I see? So what's the picture? It's the future? Bert! Uh-oh. What's on the picture? Can't really see. Bert, is that you? Nope, it's just a band of murderous children coming after you is all. <laughs> False gods. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, to kill you. We want to give you peace. Seize her. Uh oh. <laughs> you shouldn't have stopped in this town. No! Oh my God. No! I got her. Definitely not safe place. We have proven the boyfriend wrong. Definitely no good. Shows her being taken by people with blades. Great. Will they take the engine? Vicky! Where's Vicky? You gotta think. Now think. Bad things. She was taken by Isaac. Does he speak to you, Isaac? But today he is displeased. He is displeased with you, Malachi. Why? We have our own fuel now from the corn. So not your pride, Malachi. Man, second command is going against the uh, hierarchy, I guess. Question not my judgment, Malachi. I am the giver of his word. Hmm. Sarah, come on, tell me what happened to her, please. Say something. Malachi. Who's Malachi? What, what do you mean? Uh-oh. Vicky! I mean, they get around pretty quick in that corn. <laughs> Vicky! Oh. The corn parts. Oh, you can't go back now. I think I'd like that shit on fire. Don't you wish you didn't stop here? All in one year, she has gone up against demonic children in a cornfield and the Terminator. Now, who would you go up against if you had to go up against one? All around bad, regardless, but I don't know. For me, I think I would probably go with demonic children. I mean, they're not demonic. They're just following a religious idiot. What's going on here? Why is he cutting himself? I'm not understanding this. Now the blood of Amos will be shared. Oh, hooray. So who are these kids? They don't seem to be a part of the uh, other bunch. He will reckon with you. But maybe he'd like to discuss the medical side of what's going on here with me. It's as it is written. Be who wrote it? Bring Malak. Oh, he seems worse <laughs> by everyone's gasps. What in this? Are you rewriting the whole thing or just the parts that suit your needs? Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Well, now we got a chase on our hands. He seems pretty athletic. Go get him, guys. Go that, way. that would suck. <laughs> hmm. How's he gonna get out of this? 
if he gets out of this. Does this end good or bad? I'm totally lost on which. Oh no. How'd you get. Really? Find a break and run through it. Outlander! Get off! Good job, Malachi. I mean, I don't see him getting much help if he ends up getting caught. I don't think he's gonna get caught. You guys go back up the alley. You over there. You two, follow me. Gotta find you a gun. That would probably uh, be best. Did he see you? Don't move. All it takes is one little creak, and he'll know you're there. You know. Where'd he hit him? Should have finished him off. Honestly, I mean these are pretty evil kids. Hey, Mister, I know a place to hide. Who are you? Joe, come on, stop asking questions. Oh, the kid, what else you got going for you? Come on. Of course, they're being being very loud. It's only me and Sarah. Sarah? Yeah, my sister. Hey. They listen to Isaac and Malachi. Who are Isaac and Malachi? Isaac started the whole thing. They thought he had great hmm. spirit. I thought he was weird. Oh, yeah, but strange. Amos will satisfy him. We need the woman. She'll bring the man to us. We cannot remove her from this place. It is holy. <sighs> not blaspheme, Malachi. You know not the laws. He's the god of blood and sacrifice, not ceremony. Down on your knees, heretic. Shut your mouth. Uh-oh. No good. Power struggle. I am the word and the giver of his laws. Disobedience to me is disobedience to him. Man. Do it now or your punishment shall be a thousand times, a thousand deaths. Yeah, well, let's see. Does he have power? Isaac in her place. Uh-oh. Well, this flipped on him. No! No! Man, they turned on him quick. Outlander! Get over there. He's gonna come. Get over there. Outlander! Hmm. Outlander, maybe you don't hear so well. This guy needs to go. Come on, Outlander! Doesn't hear him. Are you looking for that lady? Yeah. Yeah, you know where she is? They took her out to the clearing. What clearing? Where? In the cornfield. He'll go out there and find uh, Isaac hanging. He'll be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> what is happening here? I'm ready to celebrate my birthday. I am the word and the giver of his laws. This is the hmm. They really, I mean, I guess they weren't really true believers in him because they turned on him just like so quick. Either that or just, they're just afraid of Malachi to the point where they didn't want to deal with him. You can see everything from here. Oh, there they are. That's where I gotta go. I think I'd go to the sheriff's office and find me a couple uh, shotguns or pistols. There's gotta be some kind of armory or something there. At least some sort of weapon. You're just not walking in there with like a pitchfork or a butter knife <laughs> is he crying why is he upset he's come for me or who he's come for me. he's come to welcome and who is he i mean who's making the corn part ways and whatnot you know I'm ready! hmm there must be some sort of creature involved ah! what the hell is that i did it you come back i did everything wanted. he's begging no! Uh-oh, the hell's taken. <laughs> That's, that was a bit on the nut side. Run away! What kind of a god tells his children to kill their parents, huh? Answer me that, buddy. Yeah, that is a bit effed up. It's all started to sound the same. Well, it's not! He's starting to make sense. Without love and compassion is false. It's a lie! Oh, uh, damn Malachi. I don't think Malachi's gonna get out of this one. Ah! Would really love to know what the hell the creature in the cornfield's all about. They really didn't touch on that at all, really. <laughs> Nobody else. This what he commands. Missed him. Malachi. Uh oh. Ah! He's risen. He wants you too. Malachi. Oh, you guys, you're screwed up. You're done. <laughs> Especially with this guy talking like a demon now. Fire and cornfields, they don't go together. And Isaac, he just flipped evil pretty quick. I mean, he was already evil, but 
They're taking over by a demon. Or whatever the hell it is. Joby, get some help and get those doors closed. Quick! Yeah, kid. Do your job. Look, what if we tried to run for it? Make it to the road. I think we're safer here for now. We'll wait till morning. Things are always better in the daylight. <laughs> he was reading a page torn out of the Bible. And he was working with the still. Mmm. So we're exactly where we need to be. Good. And the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. What's that? Do you have to make fun of them? <laughs> Incessantly? I don't know. It says torment them. Fire! He was going to burn the field! Ah. So burn the field, you kill whatever's out there. Sounds simple enough. Find me a bottle, a glass bottle, a pop bottle, all right? Quick. I mean, hell, they had torches. All they had to do was run through there and just light some stuff on fire. They got a bunch of hay. That starts some fire. Joby, come here. It'll work. Open it up when I get out there, all right? All right. I love you. I love you, Vicky. How far do you gotta go, dude? I start flipping that shit on. The corn! No! How'd you... Really? He's gonna be taken out by some corn? Should've walked out there with a machete. Well, he's got a knife, at least. Alright, the boy's out there helping. <laughs> what are you doing here? Get back to the barn, hurry up! I just helped you out. Tell me! You know how to run this Yeah. Thing? Hurry up. Whatever the hell this stuff is. There we go. Sprinklers are on. Oh no. <laughs> I think that, that should be enough. Oh, it didn't break, really? Run, Toby! <laughs> Do it right this time. <laughs> There we go. Time to go. Just run. Mission accomplished. They're okay. Huzzah. So whatever happened to uh, Isaac? I mean, did he go up in flame too, or? Come on, come on, let's go. Oh, uh, animation flame. Reverse the flames. He did? I think so. Then why are we still Just running? Just keep going. <laughs> yeah, though. Uh, does the car still work? What happened to all the kids? Did they die? Did they bail? Did they make it? I don't know. Well, Hemingford's 19 miles, right? Are you sure you're strong enough? What about you? Are you okay? Yeah, all I'll right. make it. Got a great doctor. 19 miles, that's a long, that's like, like a couple days walk. Well, it's flat ground, you can probably do that in a day. I live in Georgia, so it's at least a two-day thing going up and down mountains. <laughs> so what are we going to do with these two little... I guess we're going to adopt them. Guys want to come live with us for a couple days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab the map. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. No. Jeez. You must die! <laughs> oh, she's out cold. Good. What are we gonna do now? Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'll just leave. <laughs> Wouldn't even bother hanging around. The end. Well, they're just gonna leave it like that. I guess we don't see whatever happens to Isaac, or I guess they just... We'll just think that he went up in flames in the cornfield? I don't know, there's there's sequels. We didn't see him die, so more than likely he probably survived. Well, that was Children of the Corn, and I gotta say, it was okay. It wasn't, like, up there in terms of, like, best horror movie ever, or even best 80s horror movie. I mean, there's so many more that were so much better than what this was, but it was okay. It wasn't uh, something that blew my socks off, but... Linda Hamilton, she played just, you know, sort of the heroine who uh, needs help. 
and uh, she was saved. And the story itself, when it comes to the demon that was out there in the cornfield, I don't know what that was all about. You know, they didn't really go into detail about it, other than the fact that there was an evil presence out there. We don't know what it was. We don't know. Pretty sure it was not the god that they thought it was, and uh, Isaac was just taking its word for it, and then he ended up being taken over by it, I suppose. Yeah, when it came to the children, uh, they didn't even show what happened to them. We seen that the, what was it, Rachel, the the woman that was in the car at the very end that went after, uh, yeah, it showed her survive, but kind of curious what else would have, what happened after this? What was the aftermath of it? Whatever happened to the kids? You know, did uh, the government come in and kind of do something about it? Uh, I mean, I don't know. There, it's just a lot of open-ended storytelling that I'm not much of a fan of. But uh, the movie itself, it kept me interested, kept me wondering what was going on. The problem is you didn't get much of a payoff at the end of it. Um, but I guess that's why they have sequels, quite a few sequels. Not sure if I'll see all the sequels for the channel, but the first one was interesting enough to where I want to see part two and see where that goes. So... More than likely, I'll watch that not on the channel, though. But uh, anyways, what did you think of Children of the Corn? Let me know. Comment below. Tell me what you think. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to tune in for more things that I haven't seen, things that Chet hasn't seen, as well as uh, a lot of other videos that are coming up because we just made a feature film and we're in the process of doing some editing. We also have a couple more scenes that we have to do in August, so that's going to be very fun. So stay tuned for videos that kind of show behind-the-scenes stuff of that. But anyways, until next time, see you later.